Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve! Well, last time we defeated the T-Rex, and I can't get in this elevator for some reason. This is a very fickle elevator. Screw that, I'm taking the stairs. I don't know why the game's being so finicky about that. I was able to do it earlier today, but I don't know. But I turned off the alarms and everything, but anyway. Okay, so, Clamp is dead. We just gotta kill Eve before she can give birth to the ultimate being. So, let's head on over there. Only way to do that, you gotta get up to the... Well, you gotta climb up manually, pretty much. I mean, you could take the elevator up to the second floor. If you could actually get the doors open. Which, you can. I just don't know why I can't. But anyway, once you get up to the second floor, then you kind of have to walk around. Because they put Eve in a room that is a bit of a walk away from the rest of the building. Or, like, the elevators and the stairs. So, yeah, no easy way of doing it. You just gotta... Well, from the save point, that is. So, I figured I'd just show this route to you again, just for those who missed the previous episodes there. Uh, by the way, once you go past this point, this is the no-turning-back point. You won't be able to go to any previous dungeons or anything like that. And you won't be able to fight any more random battles either to level up. So, you want to watch out for that, viewers. But anyway, yeah, you see all the slime, you know you're in the... Whoa! You know you're in the right place. Ugh! What do you need all this slime around here for? I don't know. Seems kind of odd interior decorating to me. Jack Rio, is that you? No. Whoa, that is one big u uterus, and why do you have more than two arms? Well, I suppose you are giving birth to the ultimate being. Seems like you got more than two legs there, too. What? I'm not gonna wake up the baby. He or she's not even born yet. Well, I didn't get set up. You can't set me on fire, so... Yeah, let's have a baby shower. Of lasers! Well, I don't have a laser gun. I'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. To procreate our species? Or perpetuate? Sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah, if that part's a little fuzzy to you of yours, it is to me, too. What are you doing now? Whoa! That is a lot of slime. No wonder where all that stuff went. I guess it was just heading in your general direction of the... Museum. Ah, so this is what childbirth is like. I guess the Final Fantasy games made it look a lot easier than it actually is. So, are you gonna actually shoot her anytime? No? No? I don't think you have much to learn, much more to learn from her, Eve, by keeping her alive. But then again, it is a JRPG, and fortunately the reverse is true, too. When the bad guy has a chance to kill the good guy, they just let you go anyway. Yes, I did. Bare naked and everything. Didn't we already know that?
Don't we already know that, too? Oh, I thought she was on cocaine. Well, that works, too. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people have transplants in this game, huh? Well, that would explain a little bit. But she's still not Maya. She just got one of her kidneys. It doesn't it's not like she has Maya's soul or her memories or her brain or anything that makes Maya who she was. She just has a kidney. It's not like it's not like where your soul is stored or anything like that. How would he be doing a transplant if he wasn't a doctor already? Oh, well, he was an intern, I guess they were saying. Okay, I guess they do explain that. Aren't all body parts hot? I mean, you know, your body has to produce heat to stay alive. And if you hear some rumbling in the, in the distance, don't worry, viewers, that's just the cat. She's got the midnight crazies, and she's got to stay on the desk, sitting behind the monitor, pretending that she's hiding from me. A catalyst? What do you mean? What, what does the kidney have to do with the uterus? I don't know. I, call me crazy. I'm not a biology expert, but I thought the those two parts were completely different organs. But if they live symbiotically, why would you need immunosuppressants? I thought the point of an immunosuppressant was because you don't live symbiotically and but you want to force them to yeah probably would have been a good idea oh well double rejection But don't we already know most of this already, anyway? I mean, I was kind of there. Oh, okay. But that still doesn't mean that Eve is your sister. She just has some of her cells. All right. You impudent fool! But didn't you just do that the last time and get your ass kicked? Man, you sure got a lot of aircraft. Although, I suppose, if you have something as threatening as Eve, you'd probably want to throw everything you got at her. Uh, I suppose it should be obvious, and I pro maybe I should have mentioned it at the beginning of the episode, but... Bring the popcorn, viewers, for the remainder of the game, because we got as many cutscenes and the rest of the game as we did in all of Disc 1. So, yeah, lots of dialogue and... 
cutscenes before the final battles. Yeah, I, I, I don't see what they're hoping to accomplish here. Military intelligence, indeed. Is she transforming into a spider or... Oh, just a ball. Or a spider ball? No. No, that's another game. I like Metroid 2 with the spider ball. Too bad the third game didn't have that. Oh, well. That was a nifty little item. She's freaking dead! It's just her cells. It's not her soul, you morons. Oh. Well, if you're going to do that, wouldn't it be a good idea to... I, I don't know. Hide until you give birth to the ultimate being? I mean, why put yourself at risk? Whoa! I mean, it's not like Cell, where you gotta find these two androids and absorb them to become Perfect Cell. You, you kind of already have everything you need. So, just, like, hide away or something. Why bother deflecting the missiles back at them when you could just shoot them yourself? Or you could set all the pilots on fire. Maybe they're too far away, I don't know. Well, so much for that idea. What did you guys think was gonna happen? I don't think the helicopter is gonna crash or anything. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh. Well, thank you. Well, where did you think all these guys came from? Well, I suppose they could have come from one of the other islands around here. But whatever works for you guys. Sorry to have you come and save the world on such short notice, even though you've been doing this for the past five days. You better not put her in harm's way, even though she's the only one who can possibly do this by being put in harm's way. Yeah, we kind of already know that. Okay, so they do know about all this stuff. Nuke? I don't think so, buddy. Wouldn't that kill her too? I mean, if we, I mean, a nuke kind of th that would destroy the entire city. That seems a little uh, extreme. Not to mention she she's got a barrier around her. I, I don't know if a nuke would be able to take care of that. It's a freaking nuke! You don't need to be at close range to use something like that. Well, if you don't get ignited by Eve, you'll be ignited by the freaking nuke! So, they basically just need Aya to go in there and press a button to fire the nuke? Couldn't you just... Do that remotely? I mean, you're already remotely taking the helicopter over there to begin with. Or why didn't you just fire a nuke at it to begin with? But, okay, I'll go with it. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, it's about time you learned that, or figured it out. Hmm? Now, Meta, I, I don't need any of your hocus pocus or... Mumbo Jumbo, or Voodoo Guru, or whatever. Yeah, I, I, if I already had enough of your crap taking up my inventory, it hasn't done anything. How important could it possibly be?
Now we got dramatic music time. Hope you brought a parachute with you, Aya. She's already dead, Aya. You don't need to hesitate. Please don't hesitate, Aya. <sighs> of course she's going to. Why are we so far away from her? Well, I guess it makes cutscenes look all nice and everything. But if she's at the Statue of Liberty and we're in the water, shouldn't we be at least a little closer? Sounds like a plan. And everyone line up single fire so she can kill all of us in one shot. So that they can kill us in one shot. Or, well, okay, she can just pick you off one by one. Not entirely sure what that's accomplishing, but okay. You don't need their help. They're already... Yeah, kind of in there. Well, sounds like a plan. Whoa. You didn't do a whole lot of anything with uh, that, Aya. You're kind of born with it. But, well, do it the best you can. But will the nuke be enough to destroy Eve and the ultimate being before it's too late? Find out next time on Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.